Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning Lala and this hashtag Friday feels. I'm so excited to welcome Jay Starrett to the show. Obviously hot off X on the Beach. Thank you. And CBS's Survivor. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Where did this all start for you? Uh, well, it all started in the garage when I was practicing for Survivor. Because <laughs> I, practicing? Yeah, yeah, because you have to make fire out there, so sometimes they don't give you flint. So I just like cut down bamboo from this neighbor's house and then went in the garage and tried to make a bamboo fire saw. And then smoke started going and then the neighbors were like, what's going on? And I'm like, I made fire! <laughs> <laughs> so, what about Survivor really drew you to that show? I mean, why did you want to go to the island? Uh, it was just the challenge portion of, it, portion of it and like just the experience of like pushing yourself to such an extreme that you've never like dealt with before. So like not having shelter or like food and stuff like that. Like, no, like we living all, in LA. Yeah, yeah. We're, all, <laughs> we're, all, yeah we're all blessed <laughs> here. So how did you even get on the show? Like how did it come Oh, out? I just sent in a video. Really? Yeah, I just sent in a video okay. and then they called me and they're like, hey man, so what was you're the video? Nuts, let's go. It was like you pounding on your chest? Uh, the no, it was like me skateboarding and then doing Ninja Warrior obstacles and then uh, surfing and skimboarding and all kinds of different stuff and then just talking about my life. Wow. So uh, your time on the island, I'm wondering though, what was the biggest struggle you had? What was the uh, hardest thing to actually survive? Being cold. Mm. Oh, being really? cold is the worst thing ever. And one of my friends was a veteran, and he's like, yo, what was the worst thing? And I was like, being cold. He's like, you got it. So, oh, but wow. you weren't cold yeah. on the beach. Oh, you're cold. You on X on the beach? Oh, on X on the beach? No. <laughs> 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 they, they made sure to keep us hot there. Oh, okay. There was a lot of alcohol and no AC, so yeah, it was hot. <laughs> Are you really looking for love, though? What brought you on that show? Uh. I mean, it was the experience of it, and then also, yeah, why not look for love and like find something that you can, someone that you can be with and go have fun and adventure with and live. You're like, sure, yeah. I mean, yeah. I can take what, or leave us, no big deal. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what surprised you most about each of those shows about Survivor and X on the Beach? Survivor is completely real and like legit, you don't have food. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And then X on the Beach, everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything. Just huh? like all of like the drama that people bring yeah. in their lives. I'm like, whoa, this is a lot. Oh, wow, so clearly you liked Survivor. Uh, no, I love them both. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gotta be They're both their own good. like adventure. Yeah. So that's fun. What do you think was the biggest thing you kind of learned though about yourself in participating in reality television? Um, always be true to yourself and just know who you are and don't change for anybody because mm -hmm. once you start doing that, people will smell out. The uh, fakes, uh, interesting. You know? That's interesting too, right? Because especially with TV and especially with reality TV, sometimes, a lot of times, there's this like huge invitation to be something different than yeah. you've been in the past just so that you can continue to book work. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to build a character, I just want to be me. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. I'm just so, you know, obviously our guest before, a uh, big crocodile guy, an adventurer, and, and you said in the break, like, I'd love to have his life. Oh, like, yeah. what is that about you that wants, what would be your ideal life, like adventuring, and what would that uh, look like for you? Basically just traveling the world and experiencing every, like, thing that I can, because I started rock climbing, like, t a year and a half ago, and I've been going nonstop now, uh, surfing, and then, trying out, if he wants to invite me to go on yeah. the show, I would love to, <laughs> like, let's go, that would be epic adventure. So I, I'm more than happy to do anything that just like pushes your limit yeah. to you, for you to understand like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Wow. Super cool. What are you most looking forward to personally and professionally? Uh, professionally keeping my Stay Local brand going uh, and building it more and then, um, I just want to keep traveling. Yeah. I've been fine. traveling like crazy. So what is your Loco? Uh, my loco? Other than that we know you want some adrenaline pumping, but what else? Well, stay loco actually means like, um, everyone has their own crazy like I told you yeah. before. So it's just basically be your crazy, be true to who you are, and, and don't ever train change for anybody. And my crazy is basically I just can't sit still. Huh. So I'm yeah. just like constantly yeah. going. Mm -hmm. So, so what's next energy. for you then? Uh, I think I'm either going to go to San Diego tonight or Red Rocks tomorrow oh. to go rock climb for a little bit. Is that when you feel the most peace is when you're out there? It's when I'm pushing myself, yeah. yeah. When there's yeah. something that I felt uncomfortable doing. Yeah. So like the comfort zone to me, I don't like being in it. I like being in the uncomfortable mm -hmm. because that is like where the magic happens. Basically. Right? Yeah. Isn't that fascinating? It is fascinating. Like, it's, I never it's hear not you say that. Right? It's no. like a, it's yeah. a type. It's yeah. A, yeah. You take you, rub you off on all my clients. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I would be out of the job, but it'd be great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my job. Let's do it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's so, so motivating. Rad. That's so, a, I mean, have yeah. you always been like that? Even from a little bit? Uh, I mean, my mother raised me that way, so she was always just like, oh, mm. she was be like you, that. and she was the one. That's why I even wear like this necklace. It just reminds me of home. Because she's Peruvian, so that's just what it is. She's a she has a very adventurous spirit. Yeah. So that's why my brand's half English and half Spanish, because that's how I 
was raised. Just huh. incredible. Yeah. Love that. Knowing what you know now, what would you have told your younger self? What advice would you give? Don't stay in college so long. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it without go, go. Yeah, that's hilarious. As bad yeah. as that is, but yeah. That's, that's awesome. probably what I would say. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. Take the risk. Yeah, take the risk take of everything risk. and just go with life. Very okay, awesome. let's do it. I'm, I'm motivated. I'm inspired. You ready? Right. We're gonna go to Australia. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not for that. That's, <laughs> that's not my jam. But I got my own inspiration. Eric's more lay on the beach, right? I'm for thinking while. like MTV, X on the Beach, those kind of vibes. But please tell everyone where they can find and follow your journey. Uh, so you can follow me at JQ Skim on Instagram, or just go to jsterra.com, and that's where you find everything, including the Stay Local gear. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, so brother. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you.